one, it's Farkut here. And this is part two of building a ship. And I'm going to trim off the side so it starts actually looking like a ship. Because as it stands, it looks like an M shape. Got to create like a V shape. And I'm also going to place the floors on it. So I'll place one on the bottom and one on top. And I'll see what else I can do if I've got more time. So let's go. All right, so get your hole cutter out. Okay, this isn't good. I can cut this one, but not that one. Okay, I'm probably going to have to replace this, but I'm just going to use console commands for it because that took too much work. I have a feeling, and this is good, watching this, learning from my mistakes. I always put my mistakes in my videos because it's so easy to stuff things up and I'll show you how to recover them. Okay, so what we'll do, you trim right at the top. You can use, you could leave that little lip on there. That actually might be a good idea. Yeah. Now we'll just check. Okay. So what's going to happen is I've got to clear this in 20 cuts. And unfortunately, there's still some left down here. But I might be able to use those cuts. If you can't do it, that's what the ultimate cheat menu is for. And trust me, with the ultimate cheat menu, it's actually a lot quicker. Because you can just fly and do this stuff. Do the hole cutting. Just doing it like this, it's quite tedious. So that was three cuts. That's why you don't make it too long. You might be better making it a little bit shorter. And then you can just replicate it again. There we go. That's four cuts. I've got 20. That's pissing me off now that I think about that. Uh, it's probably because I... I think it's because I cut the pillars off. Maybe do this first, then cut the pillars. Just climbing up to the top of the roof part and then getting it out again. I could hold down control, but I don't know. I don't want it to affect my movement. Oh, it might be alright. Yeah, I can hold down the control. I don't know why I just didn't do that at the beginning. There we go. And yeah, there's those cuts down there. They're f that's floating. Yeah, it's not going to let me cut it, so I'm going to have to replace this one. Though I might try something, because I've never tested this, because sometimes this happens. I think it's... I'm not sure why this one's done it and the other one hasn't. Maybe way I cut it, might have clipped it. I don't know. Hard to tell. Okay, I'm in the main menu. I'm going to type in wood paste. Nothing happens, so don't worry. Don't get a confirmation, but you'll see what it does. Okay, as you can see, the cut pieces are back. Unfortunately, it's not a selective thing. It does every hole you've cut in the game. And to test... Oh, look. It fixed it. So I'm just going to have to cut it again. That's no big deal. Okay. I haven't got any tips for rotating this thing. Just try and get it as accurate as possible. It's a good way to tell us how off it is. They need to slow it down. In the older versions of the game, it was much slower. But now it's too fast. It looks like I got it perfectly though. I don't want to change this. There we go. I can't believe that fixed it. I did not expect that to work. It was a massive gamble. I can't stress how much patience you need to have when you're doing this. You don't want to stuff it up. This side's off by a little bit. It's on a different angle, but it's very minor. It's not worth adjusting the thing, the hole cutter for. There we go. Right, let's go double check. It's dark as a monk's butt plug, but should be able to get a good s visual of it. Yep, sweet. Okay, we're getting there. Sleep. Oh, are you kidding me? My rabbits are gone. I don't know why. Wood paste maybe got rid of them. That's actually worth checking out. 
If anyone knows the answer to that one, they'll get a hearted comment. <laughs> Why didn't I don't miss it? Hopefully I don't. Oh, with that wood paste thing, it has to be done in the main menu and you don't need to have developer console on, so don't worry about that. This is going to be the front of the boat. The V-shape. It's the hardest thing you're going to do. <laughs> you're going to do it. It's ridiculously hard. Okay. Now save first because I don't know if this is going to work. But we will see. Okay, that's done. We're clearing that, so don't worry. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay, it's sticking out the side here. And it's sticking out the side here a lot too. Which I don't like. So, we're not going to do that idea. Okay, reloaded. Cancel that. Okay, I made it a little bit shorter, so it shouldn't stick out to the side. Because the reason I'm doing this, and I'll show you why. A little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra more resources, but this is why. If I place it on the inside, there's going to be a gap. This freaking thing. Uh, I'll just place it and I'll show you. Like, for example, instead of coming out to here, it will come inwards. So there'll be a gap down the side of the boat. And I don't really want that, so I'm going to do it this way. This one's cheaper, it's 11 logs, and the last one was 13 or 12. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. It's slightly poking out, but it's not actually poking out. It's kind of wedged in there, so it might give it a good look. Hopefully you could say the same for the other side. Yeah, it's the same on the other side. Okay, I can destroy this now. This is very frustrating to destroy, because I can't cut it. Finally. Dramatic the way they blow up. Oh, I got some logs out of that. That's <laughs> rare. <bright>. Two. <laughs> I thought there was booze in the... There's a bottle of booze in the water. <laughs> oh, I got a bit confused there. Eh? I don't know what was going on. Picking up some oysters. This is great. I like this. This is good. Uh, I can't quite stand on it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I can sort of can. Nah, it's too dodgy. Yeah, I shouldn't have made these so steep. I wouldn't be falling off of them all the time if I had done it. A bit more shallow. Okay, I'm going to need more logs. I'm going to go over and deal with these guys. Sorry to break up your party. Oh, love that. Someone died and must have jumped into the water. Uh, yes, yeah, so the one shot hits. My perks are a little too good. Difficulty scaling, next episode. I should have it on. I'm not killing, this is not my intention. I'm trying to build this ship. Probably another reason I like this area better is a lot more logs over here. The land bridge is pretty log deprived. If I hadn't built up there in season one, I probably would build there again, but uh, change of scenery is always good. I could have just dropped the logs down here. Why am I bloody doing this? Hey! Get away from my mates. Hey, he's eating his friend. As you see, it's overpowered, this mod. Well, when you don't have difficulty scaling. Not gonna burn the body, so, because it's kind of cheating. To be using this and not have uh, difficulty scaling on. I also recommend you do it with ocean quality on flat, if I haven't already mentioned that. Because building with the waves is quite hard. You just turn it off temporarily. You can come back and turn high quality or low quality back on. But flat is highly recommended for building anything on water. Always do it. Jesus, man. I'm trying to backstab me when I'm trying to put logs on the boat. Okay, I can reach it from here. I'm struggling to find a spot that I could access it from. 
Silly logs. Ah, I keep pushing it. Why is it pushing? Ah, <laughs> oh, buddy. And done. Let's check this situation out. Okay. It's looking good so far. I'm not using any cheats to do this either. No console commands or anything. Okay, so you can't attach a floor directly to the top of this. It just won't work. So way around that is to just place rock pillar like this. Now, the only issue is, and I just figured this out. So what I'm going to do is a wall along here, like this. Like that. Put windows in it. But if I place those rock walls, those rock things, I'm going to run into issues. Possible solution. No, it's not going to work either. Why is that red? Uh, how's that going to look? Uh, stick out a little bit. Okay, reload it. Because I built that, I don't want it. Not yet anyway. Alright, that's going to do. It's just <laughs> too frustrating. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Cancel all these. Don't need them yet. Saw that later. Okay, so I'm going to keep one of the back ones as the thing. The thing. It's always the thing. Missed. <laughs> uh, just connect you bastard. There we go. That's actually done pretty well. A little bit of a gap there, as you can tell. That's what I was trying to avoid. Actually, I might be able to avoid it. Stick this up higher. Try that. Okay, that's better. But this side could be improved as well. So that's good up that end. Just have to get rid of this one. Because I can be at very different heights and it will still connect. It's weird how it works. Oh, I'm starving. Didn't even realize. <laughs> uh, that'll do. Better check with calories and it's probably too late. Ah, I'm not even swinging. Who cares? There we go. There you go. How's this? Okay, it looks really good on this side, but unfortunately. This is just a dominant one. Can't get it in anymore. If you place a custom foundation, it's going to stick down. So it's probably the best thing I'm going to have to do for now. All right, clear these. Just need to keep that one there. There we go. It's all held up by that one there. Even though, realistically, it'd be held up by these things here. This ain't a realistic design. What the hell am I talking about? 44 logs. I'll sleep, get calories. And then I'll cut down the trees. What I might do is I'm going to make a little zip line here. Hopefully that doesn't drag. Ah, oh, I forgot about my rope storage idea. I should have been doing that. I stopped in at the yacht before. Why not grab something out of there? Okay, gonna have to make one rope, which I don't really want to. But I can't be stuff going elsewhere for it. Hey, right, here's the reason I'm doing this, because I have the zip line catcher mod on. And it stores on the boat. Good. That's what I was hoping for. So it automatically stores at the other end. I highly recommend using this mod if you're going to use mods. Because the zipline system makes the logs explode. And that's not pleasant. It's within a radius. So if there's if there's log holders around, it will catch them. God, that was close. Okay. Looks like it's perfectly stacked. All the logs I've been setting down. Yep. No exploding logs. All packed away tightly. It's a shame we can't build something that would automatically sort them. We've got to rely on a mod, but take what we can get, eh? 
Let's complete this. Last two. There we go. Okay. It's one floor. Just got to work out where I'm going to put my stairs. Okay. Just sealing the bottom of the boat. So I have to go up again and do this. Not the bottom of the boat, sealing the back of the boat. So like that. And I'll probably put a doorway here. I don't know what plans I've got yet. I could place it automatically, but there'll be a big gap there. See? Stuff that. Here we go. Is that flat? Looks like it's on an angle for some reason. Maybe. I'll just do it like this for now. Because this should all be the same height. Frickin' boat, you better not stuff up my measurements. That looks good. Got windows along here. Windows again. But that's enough for one episode. I'm gonna do all the stuff in the next one. Gonna see what I can find. Though, I do need rope because <laughs> I'm not using my cloth. I spent a whole live stream looking for cloth, so I need to keep my cloth supplies. I don't know if I have enemy scaling on the next one yet. I just want to focus on building. I don't want too many distractions. I want to keep this building series focused. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.